Welcome back to more World of Final Fantasy, everyone. So last time we made it all the way here to this place called the Dragon Scars, and we made it somewhat far, I guess, but there's still quite a lot to do. Okay, three others. Nice. Let's go ahead and just head down now. And this time, progress. Yeah, so I believe that's the only way to go, right? Uh, yes. Okay. And there's gonna be a little Kaboom. fork. Would you stop? Uh. The mirages here like to the fight with fire. But if you put mirages with high fire resistance in your stacks, you can reduce the damage you take from flames. That makes sense. Okay. Makes a lot of sense. And I should be exploiting that very soon then. Because I'm pretty sure some freaking boss is going to, you know, be here soon and demolish us. Cure scene. Okay, cool. Let's go back. I mean, I do want to start using Bubliz because apparently Bubliz does turn into Shiva eventually. But the only thing is, though, Bubliz is actually because I haven't really looked at that in this game. But let's see. If I go to let's put it Bubliz. Actually, oh yes. Let's no. I keep forgetting that that's not how you actually access that. It's best to go to uh. Well, I guess stack setup works too. Also, not necessarily. Like, you can... No, it doesn't really work like that either. It's always best to go to the Mirage board. Like, you go over here, select your dude. Okay, how do I... No, 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 not like that. Okay, so, as far as, like, your resistance is... So, okay, see, so you are weak to fire, so that wouldn't work well here. Even though, aren't fire enemies weak to ice? At least in the Final Fantasy X, it's like that. But if there's one thing that I have not looked at too much, it has been, you know, pretty much elements and stuff. Look, okay, see, so you are good against fire, but you... Yeah, so see, they do actually contradict each other. Fire and ice. So I probably should equip this guy. Hmm. I'll do it in a bit, though, like... Add some save point or something, you know? Maybe like before a boss if I see the save point or something like that. For now, let's just head on through forward. Come on, bring it! Let's begin! Okay. Quite a simple battle. Just attack now. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Stop missing. You can't miss, because if you miss, they're gonna take more hits. Like see I could kill that guy and not take damage from that guy, but nope, I just missed. Kill him. Thank you. Wow, I'm taking a lot of damage. Alright, all done. Oh, right. Yeah, it's best to not even equip the red dragon first. Or stack. I mean, equipping, stacking, whatever, you know what I mean. I guess equipping is the more traditional word for, like, anything, you know? But yeah, I'm not equipping him yet, and it's kind of good because his stats are kind of low. Got to make him level up, you know? Oh, shoot. Gimme Golem. Okay, which means I must go this way first. There's a chest right there. But unfortunately, I don't see a way to get there yet. Okay, I have to go around, I see. What if I go this way? What? The elemental resistance stuff? You actually followed that? Sure. Basically, we need to imprison as many of the mirages around here as we can. Huh? Whoa! W what? You are the right! Somehow, you understood what to do, even if you didn't understand the whys. Ha ha ha! I'm a man of action. I don't believe in whys. That much is the obvious. No one in her right mind would put Lon and Wise in the same sentence. Yeah, I'm not flying when they're talking because it does interrupt the dialogue. That's why, in case you've been wondering why I do that. If I, as soon as I press X to fly, it'll interrupt the dialogue, which kind of sucks. And of course, you know, I want you all to listen to as many words as possible from them. Because it is a let's play and I'm sure you want to see pretty much everything about this game, you know, as, as much as you can, as extensively as I can show it. 
Okay, so we did that. Now there is another way I can go. That leads to probably a chest. Oh, more- oh my god. More of this shit, huh? I have to heal. I have no choice, damn it. Alright, let's do this. Even though, I mean, you are weak to ice, but... <sighs> but don't just be weak to fire, that's the thing. That's the really tricky thing about this. If I equip a Blizz, I'll do I'll do more damage, but I'm gonna take more damage too from their fire attacks. Is it worth it? I wanna say it is. You know what? Also, it would be cool if you could have multiple ones of the same one and just switch stacks instead of switching individually. You know, like just have a, like three templates and then you can switch. But I don't think you can do that. Okay, so you have to go ahead and do um Okay, magic goes up by 2, strength down by 15, oh my god. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. It might be extremely risky to do this, but we'll see. All I need to do is be aggressive. And get lucky. Are you kidding me? Right. Wait a minute, what the heck? Oh shit. This is not good. This guy's gonna be tough. Horn. Okay. Um, no, not gonna do all, just gonna do Blizzard for now. Okay, are we to that fire? Okay, did you see it? That's what I'm talking about. It doesn't seem worth switching to a ice because I just royally screwed myself because now I'm taking so much damage. No, you're gonna die. You are so gonna. Oh my god, stop picking on her. Stop it. I'm running out of potions too. All I can do is that, because I don't want to use this, because that's... It's going to target the... No, no, no. I mean, I'd rather do this to save the AP. Oh my god, man. Are you kidding me? I can't topple you over either. Potion. Um, I guess Blizzard again, sure. No, no, this is not working out, people. It's not. I have to try to you. I have to, because if I just keep healing and healing and I'm out of potions before I can get to the boss. <sighs> but you know what? Just do it. I mean, I know you're going to do some fire attack and kill me, probably. Okay, you attack. That's fine. That's okay, actually. Okay, you're attacking physically. That's good. Can you like please freaking... Thank you. There we go. Okay. Um, sure, let's do Ice Storm now. Dude, that did a lot of damage. Triple kill. Yeah, Yeah. see, but I still don't know if it's worth it. Because you're going to take a lot of damage back if you want to exploit a weakness. You know, that's like what I was talking about. Because the Blizz has a minus 100 to fire. But he will also inflict a lot of damage to fire, which... You know, that's the part that's confusing. Alright, I gotta heal. I gotta heal twice. I come out of potions. I only have one freaking potion left. This is ridiculous. Okay. What I'm gonna do is uh, be extremely aggressive. So... With you, let's see what I can do. With you, I can just attack. Okay, critical, nice. And then with you, I'm gonna use Ice Storm, actually. This should do some massive damage to both of you. Yep. Okay, just don't use fire on... Thank you, thank you. That works. Alright, so you can only do Blizzard. Oh, man, that did more damage than the storm which makes sense because you know it only targets one okay, go ahead and get some blizzard these are five and four nice see this battle is going well because they're not targeting my the blizz with fire moves but if they're if they actually target you you know you get bad luck it like i keep saying it does kind of offset the, the point of you know having an advantage because you'll be weak to it too The 
only other thing that I can think of to do is to switch the Mithril Giant out for the uh, Dragon, but like I was saying, he's actually kind of weak. Okay, you know what? Let's grab the chest first. There's no chest in here. Oh, hit an item. I see. Other. Okay. Yeah, I think it's time for this guy, people. I think it's time. Also, let me take a look at your uh, resistances because I'm not sure what you got. What you got? What? That's not what I want. Okay, you have 25. Ah, that's not enough. The red dragon is what I want to do. Okay, so... What the heck? Oh, that's like your evolution? Okay. Red dragon. Smash! Okay, remove obstacles through brute, brute strength. Also, let me take a look at your stats. A lot of strength, magic, defense. Pretty good, actually. Good strength and defense. Okay. Red flame, red fang, not flame. Inflict physical fire damage. HP plus plus raises HP by how much? That's oh, that's good. Strength plus plus raises it by ten. Sure, let's do that. I got eight left, but I want to see what else I can probably do. Because generally, it's the stat bonuses that you want, you know. What I'm gonna do is get this one. Inflict magical fire damage. Scales to HP. Okay. I also want to get this, Magic Plus, by 10, and then... Yeah, I'm doing this. Okay, this guy looks like a freaking good monster, Mirage, whatever. Allows one to sometimes counter with fire when hit. Flare Star. Wow. This guy looks so cool. Good thing I, I'm actually choosing this guy. Okay, let's go ahead and switch it up now. Um, so my stats are gonna go down though. That's the only thing that I'm afraid of, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta risk that for the elements, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and switch you out. And put this guy. Yeah, and all my stats go down. Right? Everything goes down. Is it worth it? Whew, um... I guess it's worth it. But... I mean, it helps with that. Look at that, look at that shit. I'm doing it. I'm freaking doing it, I don't care. I think the elemental resistance is worth it. In this situation. So yeah, see this offsets now. Now I'm not weak to it because of his weakness and then mine. So there, there we go. Okay, and then let's see. So with you, I guess I can give you the, uh, the giant, sure. And then I you have your... Fire and it's giant. Hmm. The thing is, I'm still using this guy, the baby Hemoth. Okay. Let's see how this works out. I have no idea if that's a good choice. It might be a terrible decision that I just made, but we'll see. Okay, so I have to go. Um. Okay, so what the heck? First, I can go this way. For probably another item, I'm assuming. Yep, item. Two high potions. Cool, because I need some freaking potions badly. Okay, now I have to walk around, basically. I gotta go like that and then get get some item or something. I don't know. We'll see. Wait, 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 wait a minute. One, two, three. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, let's take it. Another freaking dragon. Let's face off against him. So this battle actually is mandatory because you gotta get to the item that the Gimme Golem Come on, needs. Great, let's Three. Begin. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, uh, let's see here what I can do. You can't do much except attack. I can try to do this though. Should I do this? Oh, that's only the one enemy though. Maybe I shouldn't. Okay, and then you can go ahead and do your Abaddon Flame. Now, use your Ice Storm. Actually, it might be best to just target one guy first, though. With that, I'm also saving a lot of... Eh, let's just go for it. So yeah, they didn't do nearly as much. 
Counter, yes. Yes, counter them all. Luckily, they all attack physically. They're stupid. Okay, awesome. Uh, go ahead and attack this guy again. Sure. Critical. You can only use Blizzard this time, unfortunately. Damn it, you're still not dead. At least I'm not speeding you, though. Yes. Okay. You can go ahead and use Blizzard on this guy. I'm good, I'm good. Okay. And then you can go ahead and just... Uh, wait, who's, who's attacking? Yeah. You can attack. Use another Blizzard. I should be able to kill. One left, and I should be fine now. Okay, that's not going to kill me. No. I'm just going to save my AP. I'm going to build it up for next battle. No point in wasting it now. Shoot, you are weak physically. No! Don't do that! Whew. I thought that was going to do a lot more damage. Damn. Yeah, my stack is pretty weak, people. The Red Dragon one in terms of attacking. Only magic attacks are pretty good, but... Okay, yes, level up, please. I need more stats, damn it. A lot. A lot of freaking stats. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some abilities now. Let's get some cures going. Okay, so you can do a cure on... Nope. You can do a cure on... There we go. But now you're out of AP, unfortunately. Oh damn it, you're out of AP too? Shoot. Are you kidding me? Darn it. I need more cures, you know? <laughs> more cures, yes. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll use my last potion for now. There we go. There we go. Anything here? Nope. Just a freaking nest. An empty nest. Wait a minute. I went the wrong way. Actually, I don't think... Well, I'll go here first. Because I'm pretty sure this leads to... Hmm. Nearly every dungeon has a secret area just waiting to be discovered. Rare mirages often lurk in these well-hidden spots. You might not have the right tools to access the hidden area the first time you visit a dungeon. Yeah, so I did go to the Wind Nether Nebula. Okay. I'm just worried, though. I'm not gonna fight him yet. There's no way. I need to save at least and, you know, heal up completely. So I'll go back there a bit later. I'm just gonna take the other pathway first. So that's gonna lead to... Yeah, see, I was taking the wrong path. It's gonna be this one. Right? Yes, there we go. Nice. Okay, let's grab this thing. Now, I did take a lot of damage before Dragon Skill, so that's going to be a powerful water attack, I'm assuming. Yeah, it deals moderate. Okay. But yeah, I did take a lot of damage. What the heck? More? Oh, wait, didn't I just... What the heck? Didn't I select them? Whatever. Okay, so... Let's go to abilities and get another cure. This time I can just use some cures, because, you know, I did, uh... Basically just attack during battle. To build up my freaking AP, you know? Okay. All good. So, I have to go down this way. Wait, but that wasn't even... What the heck? Well, I mean, I maybe should have examined the Gimme Golden first. But that was the chest. That was it. And that gave me... Maybe you do need a dragon scale. Gimme, gimme. A fluffy flower? It knows how to play defense. I guess we'll have to give it what it wants. It's gotta be in the secret area then. Cause I already explored everything else. I got every other chest that there was. Yeah, I got everything. Hmm. I thought for sure that would be the chest. But it just gave me dragon scales. That's not what I wanted. I need the fluffy flower. I mean, I have high potions, so I should be okay, but I'm gonna waste a lot of high potions doing so, you know? Which sucks, I know, but I mean. Oh god, here we go. Let's fight him. Oh, I don't know about this. I'm not scared of you. Even my freaking characters are scared. Alright, 
Cerberus. Oh, shoot. I mean, just the name, you know? 13? That's an XL. What the hell does that even mean? The game hasn't talked about XLs yet. Use fire, ice, and thunder attacks to create... Okay, do you mean, like, only one or all three? That would mean all three, because it says fire, ice, and thunder. I mean, grammatically, that's what it would mean. If it says use fire, ice, or thunder, okay, then that means one or the other. So I gotta use all three elements, fire, ice, and thunder. Luckily, I have all three, though. Okay, so let's do a channel element, thunder. Okay, that's thunder. Oh. Okay, okay, I'm good for now, I'm good. It's not too powerful. So I use thunder. Uh, then I can use Blizzard. Okay. Then I can go ahead and use a Fire. There we go. Prison Tumity is ready. Let's do it. Let's imprison damage. Shit. Whatever. No! No! Are you kidding me? I have to heal. I have to heal. I have my choice because if I die, hell no. Okay. I get two more imprisons now. I just don't want to wear off. I do not want him. Yes, I got him. See, I guess it's that actually... Good okay, the first time you encounter a tougher enemy, and if the prison trinity thing is not too difficult, it's actually kind of an easier battle, because you don't have to get this down, like, HP all the way down. Like, with those three attacks, I must have done, like, roughly, like, what, one-eighth of its health? Probably even less? You know? So the battle was simple. Oh my god, look at this red dragon. Whoa. Now that. Now that was impressive. Ah, oh, it's a shame we didn't get any gill. Okay, so we just got an XL. I don't know what the hell this means. A certain Mr. Valentine packs a gun named after... Oh my god, Dirge of Cerberus reference! Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus. Vincent Valentine. But neither he nor nor his weapon seem to be around. That implies he's going to be in this game somehow, some way. Use default. Looks good. Okay, but what happens with XL? The game hasn't given me a tutorial yet about XLs. I'm going to take you with me, though. Hell yeah. Okay, who sucks? Um, you suck. Actually, no, no, no. What am I doing? Well, actually, no, I have to do that because I'm going to use you. I have to use you. What happens if you take Tama out? What happens with all the cutscenes? Because the game letting me do it. Huh. I'm not gonna try it though, hell no, because he's, he's actually kind of useful. Okay, you can fly. The only problem is, I, like, I forgot if somebody else can fly. Maybe this guy can too, but for now, just get rid of by Hydra, because I'm not using it for any field abilities, really. You know? Shark Claw, because he's, like, unique. Water, you know? Okay, game, please give me a tutorial about XLs. Thank you. Okay, let's read this. Mega Mirages are XL sized Mirages that are too big to put in your stacks. Instead, Lawn and Rain can summon them in battle by expending both. Uh, that's what I assumed, that there were going to be summons, like different Mirages. So that's what all summons are in the game. Make no mistake though, Mega Mirages are powerful enough to justify the cost. Your other Mirages will be returned to the Prismariums while a Mega Mirage is present. Wait, your Mega. Oh, okay, I see. Mega Mirages continue to fight until they run out of HP or until Rain and Land run out of AP. You can unsummon them before that happens, but be careful because you won't be able to call on the Mega Mirage again for a little while. So basically, like how you see the image, all of the other Mirages will disappear and only Land and Rain will be on the side of, like, things that belong to the summon. Like, you see, like, mini Cerberus that they're riding on or something, I don't know. Okay. Obtain a Cerberus Memento. Oh, no, you still get the Memento if you beat him. So my theory was wrong, about the memento being something about having a chance to capture it later if you miss it, but you still get it. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Let's go. Please be the freaking flower. Oh, thank god. If it wasn't, I was gonna freaking rage. Okay, I'll meet you back where the, where the gimme golem is. Gimme, gimme! Okay, let's go ahead and use the fluffy flower. But yeah, I mean, I thought that secret area was actually optional by this point in the game, but apparently the game required you to go through Cerberus. Alright, so let's see what we find on this side now. Alright, there's a chest there, but there's also a lot. To oh god, okay, I'm, I'm gonna fall here, of course. Grab this chest. Two wobble stoppers. Okay, let's, uh, let's go down this pathway. 
Oh, nice. I guess right. There's nothing over there. Cool. Phoenix down. God, can I check down there? I see a chest. Anything over there? Yeah, by the way, I'm moving the camera with the right stick in case you didn't know. Okay, so there's a chest right there. I think I took, I took the perfect path to grab all the treasure chests. Fire resistance plus seal. Okay, let's go ahead and, you know, go through these items. Okay. I mean, that's just that. I got some wobble stoppers too, as already know. Alright, pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool. And, yeah, it seemed to have gotten every single one. Okay, sorry about that. I had to just quickly take care of something. Okay, so to progress, I have to walk all the way around. Are you freaking kidding me? Gosh darn it. Or gosh damn it, or fuck, I, whatever you want to say. Same thing, same meaning, different words, you know? Okay, I just need to freaking end this. And make it over there. Uh, so I gotta take, yes, this one down. Okay. So then I gotta take this pathway. And I must keep going left. And then just straight down. And that should take me to it. Yep. Okay, is there gonna be another huge area? Because if there is, I gotta end the video right here. Unfortunately, I must. Well, the save point is over there. Um, I guess I can just make a quick rush because I'm gonna be skipping pretty much every battle now since I've already, you know, kind of seen every single enemy now. So there's really no point in destroying more battles. So I think I can make it and still get it under 30 minutes, you know, the video. Quickly grab this freaking chest, hurry up. High potion, nice, let's go back now. And the save point is right over there to the north. Like I said, I'll just skip every single battle. Unless, of course, it's somehow a new enemy, but I really doubt it. I think we've seen enough encounters to encounter every single possible type of enemy here. Alright, let's make it. Hurry up, damn it. Oh man, this video. 34 minutes in length. Such a long recording. Oh shoot. That looks interesting. Damn it. Alright, so I'm also just going to go ahead and do some quick mirage boarding, you know, and in between parts. Now, one thing I should probably be doing is maybe doing mirage boarding at the end of the video, and then just announce it. That way I'll be like, so if you want to see mirage boarding, you know, then stick around. If not, then the video is pretty much over for you. But I'm not going to do it in this video because this one's kind of out up there in time order, like 28 minutes. So in the future, I'll be doing that though. So, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.